What's up, JD Fusion fans? Welcome to another video, and this time we are doing another Common Writer Geats commentary here. So, if you've noticed, the Common Writer buff, uh, aka Michinaga Azuma, is still alive. So, you no, know, I thought of making this video because why not, really? So, anyways, I will be probably mentioning some spoilers, but well, the fact that I'm making this video is kind of a spoiler in and of itself, I guess. But anyways, with that said, let's move on with the video. So, like I have said earlier, Michinaga is still alive even after he was seemingly, you know, fatally injured in the previous, de previous Desire Grand Prix. But when he ends up in the dimension or the place where all the eliminated players, you know, who or presumed dead so he was sent to that place right and he was found by Archimederu so the guy who basically uh, grows the Jamato so we'll talk about the Jamato in a future video by the way so uh, to his surprise Michinaga is basically still alive now he does presume that it could be a side effect of uh, the zombie buckle, uh, because, uh, well, Michinaga has also said that uh, he won't easily die thanks to the uh, zombie raise buckle. So again, uh, seeing him use it all the time, basically, uh, I guess there was that side effect. So we can only assume that it would be the reason why he had actually survived being eliminated. But... Nonetheless, he is back in action as Kamen Rider Buffa, and he kind of has a power-up in the form of the Jamato Buckle. So, because he uses the Jamato Buckle on the left side, we could probably assume that he's going to use the Zombie Buckle on the right side. Uh, probably, I assume he would be taking it by force from Kamen Rider Lopo, who is currently in possession of said Raze Buckle. So, uh we can probably assume that it's going to happen soon but that's what i'm seeing you know uh that's the possible scenario that i can see so far but maybe common writer lopo won't make it if she's eliminated because she hasn't used uh the zombie buckle as extensively as michinaga did so this is just again an assumption for now but you know, Michinaga has been an important character for most of the show that, you know, even when he appears to be eliminated, you know, the way uh, presumably that dead players uh, go. So he is, you know, shown to be alive. So he has survived in a way and he is, uh, you know, coming back. So... He's been such an important character that completely eliminating him or erasing him from the story, you know, would not make a lot of sense and, you know, just make a lot of fans unsatisfied and maybe even angry. So, he's, uh, Michinaga still has a role to play, uh, at least uh, being the first character that we see, uh, you know, learning the secrets of the Jamato, so he's on that side of uh he's on that side for now and we see things from a new perspective right so uh he could be our window uh, as to you know finding out the answers about the jamato and you know the mysteries surrounding them so again i will talk about the jamato in a future video especially when we get more information about them so for now, so Michinaga is going to return. Uh, he's going to see Ace again, but uh, who knows? Now, you probably might think that Michinaga is going to go the villain route, uh, but I don't think that's not necessarily the case. We may see him in conflict with the other riders for quite some time, but... I don't think he's going to go full villain unless he uses, you know, uh, the power of the Jamato buckle too much that it's going to affect his 
uh, mentality eventually and turn into a monster. But uh, I don't think that's the case either. He could be much more of common, you know, he could be much more similar to common writer Baron in that regard because uh, I do think both of them have strong wills that even when they turn into monsters, uh, basically speaking, they still retain their personalities. So they still have control. So that's what I see with Michinaga if he does turn into a Jamato. So unlike other uh, people who could turn into Jamato, so we already see one character who has uh, gone through this transition, and this character has completely gone ja Jamato, you know? So who the character is, you probably know, but I'm not going to spoil that part, you know, at the very least. So again, I, I do see Michinaga becoming a Jamato with a higher level of self-control, perhaps, uh, just like, again, Kamen Rider Baron when he did turn into an overlord. So I, I do think it's going to make an interesting plot, really. But he's not necessarily a villain in my opinion. I mean, Michinaga basically had good intentions for, uh, Kamen, uh, for joining the Desire Grand Prix. Although his desire, uh, the ability to crush common Riders, doesn't sound heroic, but he has his reasons, right? I I'm not talk. I'm not gonna talk about the backstory in this video, but you know, uh, well, uh, let's say uh, it was because of his uh, best friend who was eliminated in the previous uh, in in an earlier Desire Grand Prix, which kind of triggered his hate towards common writers because they were the ones who caused his friend's death. So who knows? Uh, we might uh, be able to see uh, Michinaga's best friend return, albeit probably in Jamato form. You know, it's a possibility. Uh, why not? But uh, how is he gonna handle it if that's the case? And, you know, if uh, so, is going to is Michinaga going to have to eliminate his own best friend so that uh, you know uh, just to put him out of misery, perhaps? But uh, there are so many things that can happen. We can only assume what or which uh, you know route is going to be taken. But yeah, that's what I think about uh, Michinaga for now. Again. He has become such an important character. And I think he has always been an important character from the get-go. And I'm interested in seeing what the writers, especially, you know, the main writer, Yuya Takahashi. So I'm interested in what direction uh, he's going to take or, you know, he's going to be taken. So uh, I'm definitely... Uh, interested as well in seeing how he could affect the story and how he's going to interact with the other writers going forward. So, uh, you know, I'm uh, excited to see what happens, basically. So that's what I think of uh, Michinaga for now. So what do you think? Uh, is Michinaga going to be a complete villain? Uh, is he going to probably... Uh, become a you know uh, is he going to continue on his personal route you know uh who knows what it's gonna be but uh let me know what you think down in the comments and if you have like possible storylines that involve michinaga like tell me your crazy stories uh, you know as crazy as you want and uh yeah again leave them all down in the comments so thank you so much for watching and as always, please do leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from the uh, from Day Fusion. <laughs> so this has been Philip. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.